Alright guys, today we're leveling a lathe bed. Alright everybody, welcome back to the old iron shop. By the way, look at the shirt. Look in the description below, you can get these on Teespring. Alright guys, to do a little bit of uh, time saving here in the video, I, I kind of did a little preliminary setup. I've got it shimmed out. Uh, roughly. Uh, this side here, make sure there's no dust or dirt on any of this, that can affect the reading. I set my level on here. Let that stabilize. It was actually right on between the zero mark. So this is level. This end of the lathe is level, which is good because I'd rather probably adjust the other end. Okay, I'm gonna move the camera over to the other side here and we'll take a look at that side and see what's going on over there. Here we are, right, headstock is right here. And the wear in the bed kind of stops right over in this area here. There's a few little nicks and stuff around here, but all that's been dressed down, so it shouldn't interfere with anything. Bring my level in. Got to give you a little better shot of it over here. And of course it's out of frame. Okay, you can see here we're uh, about one and a quarter increments away. Each one of these lines represents five thousandths per foot of uh, deviation from the level. I did kind of play around with that and I bought a, you know, a cheapy pair of Harbor Freight uh, feeler gauges. And I'm going to slip six thousandths shim in here. See what this does. So that's too far. We're a little bit too high on this side now. So let me play around here. See if I can find a feeler gauge that will fit and make that level out. Now here's a five thousandths shim. That's still a little high. Four thousandths. That looks pretty close. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to take this uh, set of feeler gauges apart, and we're going to use this as a shim to shim up, you know, the front side of this foot, and then we'll tighten it all back down. That'll bring us closer. The other end of this is still zeroed out on this line on this side. It's very close. Let the bubble settle for a minute here and see what happens. Okay, that's very, very close. Okay, I'm gonna move the camera back to the other side and we'll compare the two. So one here right now it's just touching that line a little gap at that side but as temperature fluctuates this bubble will you know change its size that's why you don't want to be sitting there holding this thing in your hand for very long you can affect the reading make sure we wipe everything clean all the time okay and again this is the front side of the lathe right here we want to see that that bubble will zero out on that line That's really, really close. So I think we're probably, we're gonna call this good. This world's better than it was before. All right guys, I hope that helped. Uh, you can check out my other videos here coming up. And uh, we'll be seeing you guys at the bash here real soon. It's coming right up. <laughs>